Welcome to my channel. My name is Ashim. This is today's back workout. So I decided to do something different today. I decided to pre-exhaust my back with a lot of rows and upright uh, rows and shrugs. So I meant to say rows and trap work before I did my deadlifts. And while this is not very out of the box thinking for for bodybuilders because this is what no this is what they do normally, it is very very different from what I'm used to doing. Usually, what happens is that I do the main big lift like deadlifts in the beginning for a lot of reps on, on, on a day like today. Today is an alternative deadlift session so that means that I it's, it's a filler between two heavy deadlift sessions. So I usually will go for volume with uh, 405, 407 pounds and uh, that's it. Uh, however, today I decided to switch it up and I'm pretty happy with how the workout went down. So just to give you guys a brief recap, the way I've divided this is there are high to low rows with bands, low to high rows with bands, upright rows with bands and then there are barbell shrugs and then deadlifts, so 5 exercises. 4 of these are going to be pre-exhausting the, uh, the, the deadlift, I'm sorry, pre-exhausting my back before I do deadlifts, which is the 5th exercise. Now with high to low rows and, and uh, low to high rows, the way I've set it up is, I'll, I, I do 2 sets, there are 4 sets each, so 2 sets are going to be normal regular sets, the 3rd set is going to be a rest pause set. And then the fourth set is a drop set, and you guys are seeing the videos of the drop sets. I've I've not shown you the in in between part when I change the bands, etc. Because it's kind of boring. But basically, I've shown you guys all the actual work that is being done in the drop set. This is for high, low, high to low rows and low to high rows. Then for upright rows, uh, it's a similar principle. I did, uh, the f but I, I changed the w the length the t the tension in the band. So I used the number one band first, then I used the number two band for 8 reps and then I did 2 number 1 bands for the 3rd set and then again I just took the number 1 by itself for the 4th set in which I cranked out 18 reps and pausing at the top for each and every single rep which was uh, very excruciating I love it and then for shrugs again I just increased the weight the same way that I did for upright rows I went 60 kilos, 70 kilos, 75 kilos and then I dropped back down to 60 kilos for more reps and uh, overall volume on high to low rows is 63 overall volume for low to high rows was 69 reps and then upright rows was 48 and shrugs was 41 so as you can see there are over 200 reps that have been done just before I do my actual deadlifts and then the deadlifts last week when I did these I got 8 reps and 6 reps uh, fairly easily this week it was a struggle I've never actually experienced deadlifts being this difficult but I got 4 reps and 5 reps not that the actual movement was difficult my hips weren't tired or anything like that I just felt exhausted so yeah, this is the recap for this uh, workout. Thank you very much for watching this video guys. I really appreciate your love and support. Thank you.